The year was 650 in England. The land and its people were in utter unrest. There was no king to govern them. People were fighting all the time. Merlin, a great magician, had a dream. He dreamt that England will have a king, and his name is Arthur. But where can he find this boy? Merlin made a spell. He cast a sword onto a stone. Whoever can pull the sword from the stone will be king. Many strong men tried and failed. A frail boy asked to try. The others laughed at him. Arthur pulled the sword with all his might. The sword slid out easily. The crowd could not believe their eyes. The crowd cheered and went wild. They have a new king, but Arthur was afraid. He knew nothing about being a king. Merlin came to Arthur's aid. He will teach Arthur everything on how to be a good king. Soon Arthur was crowned. Many thought he was too young to be king. Arthur worked very hard. He learned many things and listened to all that Merlin had taught him. After four years, he was a good and wise king. One day, people from the north came to fight Arthur. Arthur and his knights went to battle the enemy. It was a long and bloody battle. They won the battle. The people had a big feast to celebrate. One of the nobles introduced his daughter Guinevere to Arthur. Arthur thought Guinevere was beautiful. He fell in love with her. When Arthur returned home, he told Merlin about Guinevere. He wanted to marry her. Merlin was against it. He saw a dark future for Arthur and Guinevere. Arthur would not listen. He even built a new castle just for Guinevere. Merlin was sad. He called Arthur to have a private talk. Merlin took Arthur to a secret lake. A hand came out from the lake with a magnificent sword. It is a magic sword. Merlin gave the sword to Arthur and warned him never to break the sword, or the magic would be lost. After that, Merlin faded away, for his time had come. Guinevere married Arthur. There was a big celebration. The people rejoiced in their reunion. But there was darkness lurking. Morgan and his son Mordred were already plotting to take Arthur's crown. Mordred wants to be king. During the celebration, there was a jousting competition. No other man could beat Sir Gawain, the mightiest knight of King Arthur's court. A mysterious knight showed up and asked to fight. The mysterious knight was able to defeat Sir Gawain. Arthur asked for the knight's name. The knight removed his helmet and introduced himself as Lancelot. Lancelot was a brave and strong knight. He became good friends with the king and queen. Arthur formed a round table where his bravest and most trusted knights would sit around him. They became known as the Knights of the Round Table. But evil was brewing. Morgan used dark magic to read her crystal ball. She could see into the future. She saw a dark future for Arthur, and that her son Mordred would be king. Mordred tried to make Arthur suspicious of Guinevere by telling Arthur that Guinevere and Lancelot were in love. Arthur was so angry he threw Lancelot out of the castle and his kingdom. Arthur fell into despair. He was unhappy. He neglected his kingdom and his queen. The magic of the round table had gone. Mordred fed Arthur's mind with more lies. He urged Arthur to go find Lancelot and kill him. Mordred wanted Arthur out of the castle so he can take his throne. Arthur, in blind rage, fell for Mordred's deceit. When Arthur found Lancelot, 
a messenger from Camelot came with news. Mordred has taken over the kingdom and made himself king. Lancelot and Arthur set aside their feud. They have to defend Camelot from Mordred. Arthur called Mordred out to talk. A snake was about to strike Mordred. Arthur saw it and raised his sword to kill the snake. Mordred's men at the distance thought Arthur wanted to kill him. They rose up to fight, and a battle broke out. Arthur's men fought bravely. Unfortunately, Sir Gawain was killed during the battle. Arthur was devastated. He lost his best friend. In anger, Arthur went after Mordred. While fighting, Arthur struck a tree and his magic sword broke in two. Arthur realized his mistake, but it was too late. Mordred struck Arthur from behind. Sir Lancelot saw his king went down. Sir Lancelot went after Mordred. Mordred was no match for Sir Lancelot. Sir Lancelot killed the traitor with one swift blow. Before Arthur died, he instructed Sir Lancelot to throw his sword into the lake. Sir Lancelot picked up the broken sword and swung it into the lake. The same magic hand rose from the water to catch the sword. It disappeared back into the water, never to be seen again. The spirit of Merlin appeared. He has come to take Arthur with him. Merlin called out to Arthur. Arthur's spirit rose up to join Merlin. He said goodbye to Sir Lancelot and asked him to care for Guinevere. Sir Lancelot was sad to see his king go. Arthur's last cry was that the story of Camelot and the magic of the round table never be forgotten. <laughs>